Hi guys, my name is Jana. For those of you who don't know me yet, I changed my intro just a little bit. I wanted to show you something. I have three different channels. Channel 1 is my channel for the advanced beaters. This middle channel is the channel for the beginning beaters. And my third channel is for those who, of you who would like to be challenged. Beginning beaters. If you came here, just pause the video for a second. And click on my little icon. If you never beat it before, then click on view. Choose all this first, and you can see where the basic beginning beating starts. Now, I'm working my way up to get a little bit more advanced every time with every video. And as you can see, there's plenty of them on there. In about three months, you should be up to the level where you can do any of them. Just choose one, pick one, and you're good to go. You can just go back to browse videos to see the latest videos. And if you really like my channel, then please subscribe. Thank you. Let's start beating now. Hi guys. I know, it's a really big mess. Today I want to start with doing the first of um, several spring cleaning videos. And I'm sorry if it's a little noisy, but it's really hot in here. I have to open the door. Uh, so I hope that no mopeds will be coming by while I make this video. But anyway, these are my leftover beads. These are what I fondly call crappy beads. They're not really crappy because of course you can see there's some Swarovski in there. Or well, maybe not. Maybe I have to zoom you in. But what I did was I took these, this package, and I sorted it out here uh, to see what I got in beads that, well not all of them, I didn't sort out all of them of course, but I sorted out some of them and uh, I put them in little piles so I could work with them. And beads that are two I can't do anything with but I hope to bump into a third one at least and um, that's what we're going to do is just sort through those beads for a bit. You need a head pin that is, let me just zoom you in and get all these beads out of the way because it's really annoying. I gotta make my tutorial so I gotta go a little closer. Um, a head pin with a loop if possible uh, or maybe they're called differently because there's not really a head pin on there but you know these little pins with a loop would be handiest. This is uh, 45 millimeters but if you can get 15, 50 then I suggest you would do that because this is 50 right here and uh, right now I'm working on this project that is going to be like a necklace and um, I'm taking all these kinds of different things with my leftover beads and just kind of putting them together and it looks really lovely so um, yeah I suggest if you instead of buying two packs just go ahead and buy the 50 if you can find them and if not the 45 will do for the earrings so what we are starting to do is bring out the wildfire because um, I want to make sure that the earrings are pretty sturdy and not too flexible and you need about an arm span wide which is about a meter or a yard or just hold those arms wide and just cut that thread off. I'm also using my beeswax. I need to turn that around for a bit as you can see I've been using it pretty much and you just this is one easy beeswax that doesn't make your fingers dirty just run that through there two times I do that and then I clean off my thread with my fingers so you can see like there's some beeswax there and I'm using a size if I can find it yes a size 10 needle to go with this maybe put on my glasses so I can see my little bead hole there, or my little needle hole there I'm going to put that in and you can still see that there will be some wax coming off but that's okay. You still have a chance to you still have a chance to just kind of run it through there with your fingers one more time. Now, what you need when you make earrings is you need at least four of each size first. So, what we're going to do when we start with uh, the earrings, I am going to see if I can start with blue and I've noticed that um, whatever you do like if you do these projects 
or if you do earrings that it's also always nice to see the blue the red and the yellow in there and the thing with that is if you got the blue the red and the yellow in there all colors will combine so that's one thing that I figured out I'm gonna start with you gotta have at least six for the beginning as well as six for the end one two three four five six but you also have to have 12 for the second earring so you got to make sure that you at least have 12 of one color and what we're going to do is we're going to do just um, connect these together leave a little bit of space here at the end and just connect them together like that I'm starting with the 11s and I'm slowly increasing the size of my beads as I go along. I'm going to straighten that out, put them next to each other as much as possible. Going back in the first one. And back down in the second one. pick up my next bead and I think I will close that door and suffer through the heat because that's just way too much noise I mean how long can it take to make a video right picking up the third bead going down in the second one through, go up, go down again because I always want to make sure that they're lined perfectly and go up again. At the fourth one, go up, down in four, Up in three, and down in four. And there are people that just do this one time, but I always want to make sure that I got everything nice and straight there, so I do it loop around two times. Pick up number five, go down, go up, go down. and go up. Picking up number six, going up, oh, going up, going down, and going up, and down again. Now we're going to connect both ends going up going down on the right side going up again on the left side and try to keep that until where it's supposed to be mine just kind of went into that loop so I gotta get that out there. And now we are ready for our first row. So I'm gonna pick up two size 11s or something similar to that because these are crappy beats. These are not Miyuki. These are actually um, Guterman beats. So these are leftovers. So I'm going down in the next. Uh, size 11 0. I'm gonna go up in the next one and I'm gonna pick up two reds. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go into the next bead. 
Ow. That happens, even to me, after, what, 12 years of beating now? 10 years of beating? I don't know. And uh, let me see, what else can I pick up? Oh, I'm going to pick up two purple size 11 O's. These are actually Miyuki beads, but uh, I don't have many of those anymore. Or no, I think they're Toho beads, actually. So I got everything on my table here from Toho to Preciosa to Gutterman to God knows what. Crappy beads I've bought in a store that just cost one dollar or one euro in this case. I'm gonna go up the next bead and into the orange that I started with. And now I'm going to put my yellows in between there. So you gotta make sure you got at least six because if you put your yellows in between here, you gotta put them in between the other uh, earrings too. So I'm gonna go put the yellow in between the oranges. Now I'm gonna pick up the red. Pull that close together, as close as you can, picking up the yellow, going into the red and the purple, and if you did the chenille stitch you already figured that out. And I'm picking up a yellow, going into the purple, and to the orange, and you step up in the yellow. Now you need two colors in between here to complete your set of the flowers. So now you need an orange and a red. So let's pick up an orange and a red and go from yellow to yellow. And now you need a red and a purple. So I'm going to pick up a red, I'm going to pick up a purple going into the next yellow. And now you need a purple and an orange and then go into the next yellow. So that's a purple and an orange going into the next yellow. And I'm stepping up in the orange. And now we need some beads in between our little flowers. See our flowers are complete so now we've got to sort of split them up and pull them tight. So I'm going to use Gold Miyuki beads actually. Going from red to red. So I'm not going into the yellow, just from red to red. Picking up another gold, going from red to purple, and then purple to purple. So picking up another gold one, going into the orange, and then from orange to orange. So that's in between the purple and the orange, and I'm going to go up. Now I'm going to increase my size, and for this I'm going to use a size bigger bead, and for that I'm going to start with a green, and make sure that you got at least eight of the same ones. These are Preciosa beads, and um, if I didn't have what I call crappy beads or leftover beads, I would definitely buy the Preciosa beads because they're pretty even and they're very cheap and uh, but you know still they're not all even so you, I, I really can't use them for the Miyuki projects that I like to do because I really want those to be all even so but um, yes this will work perfect for these kind of projects so picking up two going into my gold and next I'm going to pick up two blues going into the gold and for the hell of it I'm going to pick up two blacks just for the fun of it so going up in my green now And now I need a bead in between there. Make sure that at least you have six beads of that same color if you're going to use these greens for um, something in the middle. So I'm going from green to blue now. From blue to blue into the black. 
from black to green and stepping up in that green. And now if you look on top you can see the next colors you need. You need green and blue. So let's pick up green and blue. Green and blue. And then you need blue and black. Blue and black. And you need black and green. Black and green. I'm gonna go step up in the middle one and the green one. Now you got two rounds completed. Third round I'm going to increase and I have some uh, glass beads left over here, some matte blue. I got some white a B beads left over and for that last one I want to of course add my Swarovski so I'm going to add some Swarovski to that but also make sure that you do have two of these at least uh, of each color so you can copy the other one um, but first we need a bead in between here which is also a bead that is the size well I think it's similar to size 8 but one bead that is bigger. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put yellows in between there. And I'm going from blue to blue. And now I'm going from black to black. And I'm going from green to green and I'm stepping up in the yellow. And now come the big beads going to use my glass beads and my white glass beads from yellow to yellow and I'm going to pick up two Swarovskis going up in the blue the yellow and the blue stepping up and now I'm going to add the size um, similar to 8, some big beads in between there. So not the size 11's or similar to size 11. I got some brown glass beads here I want to get rid of. So these browns are kind of coming in between there. And getting up in the Swarovski is a little bit hard so I'm pulling through the white first and then I'm gonna go up in the Swarovski. Another one of those in between there and then from the Swarovski into the glass and into the brown bead. So into the brown bead comes last. And as you can see you now need a blue and a white. So it's a blue and a white going into the brown. Pick up a white and a Swarovski so that doesn't really matter what color. Picking up the purple one and I'm going to pick up some fire what was that called? Um, this is like an orange and a red bead in, in, in one fire or something, I can't remember uh, and um, a blue glass bead and going in and stepping up in the blue glass bead now these are a little bit smaller so I think I'll just go in between there with the yellows again so that you get a nice transaction from the bigger bead back to the smaller bead going into the Swarovski grabbing that other Swarovski trying to get that close and sometimes you just need to pu pull that bead forward a bit so you won't see that thread there it's kind of sort of pop it out get a yellow one from blue to blue if possible if not just grab one blue and grab the other blue later and stepping up in the yellow and just pull that tight 
now we're that far. So now we're going to decrease the size again. I'm going to pick up two dark blue for that. And I'm going to pick up two purples for that. These are also glass beads, very cheap glass beads, like dollar beads. But dollar beads are perfect for this. So if you see a dollar store and you see a necklace with different colors in there, then buy it for a dollar and take them apart. And I'm going to get some gold beads. And these uh, are also Guterman. I'm going into the yellow and the blue. And I'm going to add some size 9 oak beads in between there. And these are beads that are all kinds of colors, so I'm kind of trying to see sort of a similar ones. I'm going to put those in there, going from blue to purple. From purple to yeah, uh, purple to gold, and from gold to blue, and stepping up in that bead I just added in between. So now you see you need blue and purple. So that's blue and purple going into that next middle bead. You need now purple and gold. And there is a big size difference between those two, as you can see, but that's okay. And now I need mm, gold and blue. And I'm going into that last middle bead, stepping up in the blue. I'm going to now add the size 11 O in between. So, let me see. I think I'll take some black. Going in between. Going from purple to purple. Going in between, going from gold to gold. Going in between into gold and blue, going from blue to blue and stepping up in the black. And I now start a round of 11s and I'm going to use some cubes for that. Two cubes and I'm going to use two orange, going from black to black now. And I'm going to use two blue. And in between, I'm stepping up because I've got to go in between. I'm going to use, let me see what else I got. I think I'm going to use a white one. And going from white to gold, or, or orange actually. White, orange, blue. White, blue, white, stepping up into the white seed bead and you can see you need a cube and an orange cube and an orange going into the next white now I need an orange and a blue so that's an orange and a blue and I need a blue and a cube so that's a blue and a cube. Going into the white, stepping up in the cube. And now I finish my last row. Well, this is the 11th, and here are the 11th. So now I'm going to add these last blue ones there. And instead of going with one bead in between, I'm now going to take two beads, going into orange and orange. Picking up two again. One, two into blue and blue picking up two again going into cube and cube stepping up in the first blue one that we added now we're going to connect these two so i'm going to push these towards each other going back in the previous 
up in the last one, add it right here, and do that again, going around one more time. Down, and up. So I got these good together. Now, I'm going down in my next blue one, and this is already connected to the previous one. Got to make sure that you don't go in the wrong way. Going up in the previous one, going down in the next one. And now we need to connect this one to the previous one. So going down and close that up. Next, previous. next. Now we're getting next one and that's already connected to the previous one but we still got to straighten that out so next previous next and previous again and next in the next one and down in the previous one to connect the last one. Pull them together and down. I go up again. we still need to connect this last one to the previous one. So you got six connected. And down again. Up again. Going into the cube, into the seed bead, into the cube, into the seed bead. I'm just going to go underneath that thread here, make a little loop and just go through there with my needle just to make that make sure that that's extra secured going down pull that knot in there and just kind of cut it off real tight and then straighten that out now we got that part done this is really tight so all you have to do here is get your needle I left a little bit of a short end there and push that through some of the beads. Put that needle in there. And this is what I do when, my, when I can't put my thread on my needle anymore. I just push my needle in first and push through there and just kind of cut it off. Because that's tight enough. The beginning is tight enough. Now, you need... Let me see how big these are. Uh, 45 millimeters. Head pins with a loop. And we're going to pick up uh, around size 8 bead. But if you put this in here, then you will see that you will see the the head pin, so that's not pretty. So what you got to do is you got to put some seat beads on there, size 11, maybe some delicas. Don't know if your 15 will fit, but you can try if you want to get rid of some of those 15 leftovers and just pick up a couple of beads. And it doesn't really matter what color; these are just going in between, so it doesn't really matter. 
Problem is, however, if your bead is too big, so if you would use something similar to a size 6, then you won't be able to get into um, this area that will get stuck. So that will be about enough to not see the beads. As, as you can see, I, or these golds are too big. And then you need to just kind of get those beads out that are stuck in there. If any, you know. But I'm going to pick up some other ones. And you can, it doesn't really matter what color you use. Cleaning up some of those old beads. And I got that. That's pretty much it, I think. Going in there, coming out on the other side, adding another blue on there. And uh, gently going to take my flat nose pliers and twist it and turn it around. And there come the rest of the beads, because there's no more room for them. So this is what you got, and now you can see that it looks nice because it's got beads in there. And the next thing you need is a head pin that doesn't have a loop on it. And an 8mm bead. I'm going to do silver Swarovski. Bicone silver. I'm going to push that around, get that close to my finger, maybe even a little closer, like that, and make a little loop. And you can straighten it out and put that on there. Oh, I already closed that too much. it up, straighten it out, next thing you need is uh, of course your earring hook, well this is already opened up so that's pretty good, all I have to do is just close it, but if it's not opened up, move it like forward or backwards, don't try to open it up like so it will go straight. So there you have it, one cute, adorable earring. And of course now you need to make the second one that looks exactly the same. Now I have a couple here that I already made and I really like them. Uh, this is a little bit different. These head pins are 50 millimeters. These are uh, actually a little bigger. And um, uh, this is of course also the same. But uh, there's a little difference here. I added a little bit more on top and there's nothing on the bottom like here. I just uh, pushed a, a glass bead in there and I got a Swarovski on top of here. So you know you can play with them, make them look different. Uh, if you rather have the Swarovski on top and a glass bead on the bottom then of course you will need some bigger head pins. Mm, what would I sell these for? I think my earrings would cost about 7.50 in euro so probably around eight or nine dollars. And uh, for the main channel, the, the picture channel, well it's not the main channel anymore, I actually uh, passed my subscribers by in numbers on this channel, but um, the picture channel will still be the advanced channel. Uh, I am making this necklace, so if you're brave enough I suggest uh, when you do your earrings you make a matching necklace. So. Um, yeah, this is done a little bit differently because you got two on both sides. I got a pearl in there, and these are done with the 50 millimeter uh, head pins, and they're curved a little bit. I just bent uh, them a little bit so they get the curve 
of the necklace to go with that and I of course added some something in between here but uh, basically there's they're they're pretty much the same as the earring just a little different and if you want to know how to do this well tune in in about uh, a couple of days and um, you can see these on the main channel the picture channel if you don't mind doing picture tutorials by the way so um, bye guys I hope to see you next time and I hope you have a lot of fun with this spring cleaning project bye